Lord, as we pray for this nation and other nations of the world, let there be breaking news that terrorists are submitting, that terrorists are giving up, that terrorists are being converted to righteousness. The same way you converted terrorist Saul of Tarsus on his way to Damascus, Lord, arise again. We bind and rebuke every spirit of terrorism, religious terrorism manifesting in our nation, killing Christians because of their faith or people of other religions. Father, we bind that spirit. A blessed and a beautiful new week it is to you, beloved of the Lord. Thank you for joining us today from all over the world where you are watching and praying in. May the Almighty God continue to renew your strength and answer all your prayers. May your life be a living witness and a testimony to answers to all these prayers we've been praying in the name of the Lord Jesus. The end of this fasting and prayer will be far better for you than the beginning in the mighty name of Jesus. The focus of our prayers today is prayers against global insurgencies. And our text will be taken from the book of Psalm chapter 46, verse 1 to 2. And it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. The introduction says terrorism is a major challenge today in many nations of the world. These are the Antichrist spirit at work against the Church of Christ at this end time. We need to arise and pray that Jesus will reign and prevail in our nation. Let us bless the Lord. According to Psalm chapter 103, it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O my soul. Worship his holy name, oh yes, sing like never before, oh my soul, worship his holy name. Tell your soul to bless the Lord for his goodness and his wonderful works to the children of men. Let your soul bless the Lord despite all the challenges and all the evil that is facing your nation. Let your soul bless the Lord. Let nothing deter you. Let nothing debar you from blessing the Lord. Say, God, you are worthy. You are in charge. You are in control. All power belongs to you. Lord, my soul blesses you. My spirit rejoices in you. Your word is yes and amen. All power belongs to you. The same yesterday, today, and forever. You have delivered before you will deliver again you have saved before you will save again thank you heavenly father because you are to walk and all power belongs to you in jesus name we worship amen let us bless the name of the lord truly it has been of the lord's mercies that we have not been consumed because his compassions never fail according to lamentation chapter 3 verse 22 the steadfast love of the lord never ceases his mercies never come to an end they are new they are new every morning new every morning oh great is thy faithfulness Oh Lord, great is thy faithfulness. We bless you, Lord, again and again and again. Because we have been protected by you, it is of your mercies that we have not been consumed. Left to the enemy, we would have been wiped out by terrorists. Left to the enemy, we would have been destroyed by insurgency. But God had kept you, he had kept me, he had protected us and he had preserved us as intercessors rising to our call in rising to God's mandate upon our lives. Let's bless his name because he has kept us healthy and strong, protected us, protected you in the land and in the nation where you are. Say, Lord, thank you. In Jesus' name we give thanks. Amen. Father, we bind and rebuke every evil eagle of terror against our nation in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we bind every demonic eagle, demonic birds of terror, every demonic spirit 
principalities and powers, powers of wickedness in high places, Lord, manifesting in terrorism, manifesting as terrorists in our nations. Father, Lord, we bind such spirits. Lord, we incapacitate them in the mighty name of Jesus. The power of the Lord is above every other power in heaven, on earth, and underneath the earth. Therefore, we bind every demonic spirit supervising terrorism in your nation, in your land, in your environment, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, we bind them. Let them go into captivity now in the name of jesus we pray amen please say father we will not be afraid of the terror by night in the name of jesus according to psalm chapter 91 verse 5 declare and say father i will not be afraid of the terror by night our god is the one who created both day and night therefore you will not be afraid i will not be afraid of the terror by night because the lord of hosts who dwells in immortal light before whom light and day, day and night are the same before him. He is with us, he is on your side, he is at work with us in the name that is above every other name. You will not be afraid of the terror by night. It doesn't matter the terror the enemy brings against people in the middle of the night. The Lord will be your own shield. The one who does not sleep, does not slumber, he will continue to watch over you and preserve you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please say, Father, we bind and rebuke all terrorists that would plot against our nation in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, we come against every terrorist, every kidnapper, every worker of iniquity that are planning and strategizing to cause more havoc, to destroy more lives this month, this year. In the coming years, Lord, we pray that they are bound. An end has come to their operations. In the name of Jesus, the power of terrorism in this nation is broken. In this nation is broken. In the nation where you are is broken. We bind every terrorist. We bind every power that is supervising, that is sponsoring terrorism in our nation. Let them begin to fail. Let them begin to be destroyed. Let them begin to fight against themselves in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please say, Father, we bind and rebuke all spirits of hatred and murder that would manifest through terrorism in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every spirit of hatred, every spirit of bitterness, of anger, making these terrorists to go after innocent souls, using people's lives as a ransom to venge their anger. Lord Jesus, the spirit of revenge, the spirit of wickedness, the spirit of hatred and bitterness manifesting in the lives of these terrorists. Lord, we bind it. Lord, we bind that spirit in them right now. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of the devil, every demonic spirit supervising terrorism, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we bind them, we banish them, we bind them, we banish them. The same way that madman of Gadara came to Jesus and the demon in him was cast out. Lord, the same way right now, we bind and we cast out every demonic spirit operating in the life of terrorists. In the name of Jesus, please intercede for them. Some of them have been possessed. They have been taken over. They cannot help themselves. As we pray now, God will help them send deliverance to them. That the spirit of terrorism and destruction, wickedness that is manifesting in them is bound and chased out. In the name of Jesus, we command the freedom of terrorists, O oh Lord, in your mercy. You do not want any to perish. Please rescue them in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we bind and rebuke all religious terrorists in the name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name, according to your word in Psalm chapter 140, verse 4, all religious terrorists, Lord, we bind them. People who are killing others because of their faith, because of their religion. They are saying they are fighting for their God. They are saying they want a reward in heaven by killing other people. This is demonic. This is terrible. This is not from God. This is evil and wickedness in our land. Therefore, oh God, we bind and rebuke every spirit behind religious terrorism, killing other people of other faith. Lord, we bind that spirit now. Lord, Lord, as we pray for this nation and other nations of the world, let there be breaking news that terrorists are submitting, that terrorists are giving up, that terrorists are being converted to righteousness. The same way you converted terrorist Saul of Tarsus on his way to Damascus, Lord, arise again. We bind and rebuke every spirit of terrorism, religious terrorism manifesting in our nation, killing Christians. Because
because of their faith or people of other religions. Father, we bind that spirit and everyone behind it, oh God, let them encounter your light and let them stop this evil act. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please say, Father, we bind and rebuke all demons of jihad in the name of Jesus. All demons of jihad, killing people, shedding innocent blood, beheading people. Ah, Lord, all the demons supervising jihad in this nation. Lord, we bind them in the name of Jesus. A prophecy had gone forth through our Father and the Lord that Islam will soon be a forgotten religion. Lord God Almighty, we see that prophecy coming to pass. The spirit of jihad that makes them go around to kill people, to maim people, to destroy people, to burn houses. Lord, the spirit of destruction upon them. We bind that spirit. Lord, we incapacitate that spirit. Lord, we declare a war against that spirit by the host of heaven, against all this demonic spirit of jihadist in this nation and in other nations of the world in Jesus name we pray amen you will not suffer the attack of jihadists in the name of Jesus God will keep you and keep your loved ones he will protect you from their evil acts and destruction in Jesus name we pray amen say father we bind and rebuke all spirit of antichrist and hatred of Christianity in the name of Jesus we bind we bind we bind arise oh lord let let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O oh Lord. Let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O oh Lord. Let your enemies be scattered. O oh Lord, our oh God, arise. Father, arise in your power. Arise in your mercy. You said you will build your church and the gate of hell will not prevail against it. Every anti-Christian spirit, every spirit of antichrist, oh Lord, in our nation, in other African nations and other nations of the world, globally, every spirit of antichrist, you put it under the control of the power of God. We put it under the control of the Lord of hosts. Lord, we wage war against them in the spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we break their yoke, we break their band. Every spirit of antichrist over this nation, nation, working against Christianity, working against the expansion of the gospel, working against Christians, maiming them, harassing them. Lord, we fight against that spirit now. Let the spirit begin to fight against those who host them. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let Christianity gain ground in power, in number, in dominion, in influence. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ through the gospel, let all these wicked individuals, let them be converted. In Jesus' name, we pray amen lift your voice and say father in the name of jesus we bind all spirits of fear and panic that would come through terrorism in the name of jesus the bible says god has not given you the spirit of fear but of love of power out of a sound mind according to second timothy chapter 1 verse 7 therefore lord we bind we bind we rebuke we incapacitate every spirit of fear every spirit of terror every spirit of anxiety ah every Every spirit of evil and wickedness that the enemy had released into the atmosphere. Lord, we bind them. We banish them with the spirit of a love of power and of a sound mind. Let the spirit of love possess you now, possess me afresh, possess you and your family members in the name of Jesus. You will not be afraid. You will not be terrified. Rather, you will be full of love, full of power and of a sound mind. Power to do exploit for the kingdom of God. A sound mind to know what God wants you to do. The spirit of love to overcome every hate and to walk in divine love. The same love that conquered the devil. Lord Jesus, let the spirit possess us afresh now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, deliver us from violent and bloodthirsty men in the name of Jesus. Violent, bloodthirsty men. The Bible calls them unreasonable men. Wicked men. Lord, men that the devil had baptized with his demonic spirit to unleash terror upon people. Lord, deliver us from them. God will deliver you from wicked, bloodthirsty men. Where the road is thirsty for blood, you will not pass there. No member of your family will pass there. God will watch over you, fight for you in the day, in the night, in your going out, in your coming in, in your rising up, in your sleeping. God will protect you and watch over you. Bloodthirsty powers will not have dominion over you. You will not walk when the road is thirsty for blood. Any evil mark on the road, none will catch you. You will not fall into the trap of the enemy. Say, Father, I am delivered. I am protected. My family is delivered. My family is protected. Throughout this year, everywhere you go, the 
presence of the Lord will overshadow you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please say, Father, in the name of Jesus, please cut the act of violence out of the hands of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we wither off the hands of the wicked. Lord, the act of violence, let it come to an end. Let the violence of the violent take the violence in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that violence will cease in our lands. Evil atrocities, Lord, that the enemy is perpetrating in this nation will stop by your mighty hand in the name of Jesus. The Lord of hosts is your name. The God of Jacob is our defender. Lord, we ask that your power will work against every power of destruction, every spirit of violence and wickedness in our land. Let them begin to fizzle out. Let them begin to fade away. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please say, Father, let the assemblies of violent men be exposed and cut off in the name of Jesus. Every evil assembly of violent men, every evil assembly of wicked men, every evil assembly of terrorists and their sponsors, every evil assembly against the peace, the prosperity, the progress and the unity of this nation, of the nation you are, we break it, we break their unity, we break their grip. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord will send ambushment against them. The Lord will send ambushment against them such that they will begin to destroy one another. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Lord, we expose them and we cut them asunder. We break them asunder. We destroy their hold, their grip. Everywhere they are meeting to have their meetings. Lord Jesus, we pray it shall become too hot for them. It shall become uncomfortable for them. It shall begin to fight against them. Everything that has been working for them before in the name that is above every other name as we pray this season against global insurgency and national insurgency and state insurgencies wherever we are, wherever we reside. The power of God will fight against the enemies of this land and God will give his people peace and rest. It's a new season for this nation and other nations of the world against terrorism, banditry, and all kinds of evil and wickedness taking place in our land. Lord, we declare peace. We declare life. We declare prosperity. We declare progress. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us to pray these prayers today. God bless you and have a glorious week. Amen.